What's going on everybody? So right now I'm going to talk about this film brought to you by Evolutionary Films, which is available now on video demand all over, whether you're in the UK or in, or in America, it is available now. And this film is titled Tribal Get Out Alive. Now, I just recently screened uh, another film by Evolutionary Film in I Am Vengeance Retaliation. And with my enjoyment of that film, led me to check out this film and also because of who it was brought to you by i was like okay i gotta check this out i gotta see what you're talking about and nonetheless this film was definitely enjoyable it did a lot of good things that i like a little small things that i, I can kind of bonder on but not really important but i'll keep it with the positives uh for the purpose of this review but nonetheless the first thing that's really caught my attention about this film is that I feel like this film was kind of stalking me because like of all the different things I've just kind of been watching recently, um, some of these things are not available now, so I can't really name drop, but just a compilation of things I've been watching recently, this film was just right in the same niche, which was just like, yes, <laughs> more stuff I like of this, of this caliber. Um, and what I'm talking about is films with action that has either enhanced humans, zombies, vampires, or just that dynamic of things going on here. So, you know, instantly with this film, it starts off as a horror film, but nonetheless, it breaks down with some really good action while still maintaining the horror, which I think is a really good combination, and it's re they really executed it well here. Now, even before I talk about the film here, I have got to give kudos to Evolutionary Films because I think the one thing they do really spectacular and phenomenal is their cinematography and the thing about it is that when you when you think about independent film companies you know the stereotype is well because they have a smaller budget you're going to get less quality at times or you know they may not be able to get the big name stars or like it may not be crystal clear it may not be 4k whatever it may be whatever your 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 stereotypes about it is i'm going to tell you now that the one thing i thoroughly enjoy is being able to watch a film that i can see <laughs> because i've definitely screened some films and it's so dark that it's just like this is unwatchable and in particular this film where majority of the film is done in low light dark cave settings the clarity is magnificent that i can see and put emphasis on things that they're putting emphasis on. I can see the characters. I can see who's talking. I can see the action that's happening in it. And I think that's just definitely noteworthy before I even, even get into this review. Because it's so important. And not only is it just viewable, but just the clarity is just so good. Uh, it's, it's, it's definitely, you know, again, worth giving props to before I even break down the film. Because that's so important to me. Uh, and it just makes the experience much, much better for viewers. And I think I can speak for anybody who wants to view a film. It's like, hey, if the film's that dark, I would love to be able to see it. But I happen to do a billion things to my TV just to make it show up. And then it's all pixelated. Just like, okay, I'm not interested anymore. But uh, <laughs> nonetheless, let's talk about the film Tribal Get Out Alive. So the synopsis basically reads that elite military personnel Caitlin Rawls retires from the service after suffering from PTSD. Along with former team member and close friend Brad Johnson, they opted for an easy life and now lead a small security firm. The company are hired by young, troublesome millionaire Richard Kenning to clear and secured the land and property he has recently inherited. Rumors and stories are surrounding the land and building are dismissed until people start disappearing and the team end up locked in with no escape. When it becomes apparent that they are being hunted and the race is out, is, is, is on for them to get out alive. So to kind of really sum that up really quick is that this is a two friends who ex-military now doing security work, which is, you know, the easy life now, uh, but still have that military desire and hunger to get at, get back out there. You know what I mean? And so they're hired by this military, mil military millionaire guy of saying, hey, I got some land, but like something kind of crazy going on with it. I'm going to need y'all to check that out. Thus they do. And when they do, they, they get there to kind of find out like, whoa, what did we get ourselves into? Also, we're stuck here because we're like trapped i almost spoiled something but they're basically trapped and now they just have to just get out alive um and it's just the 
uh, it's just a survival it's the survival instinct of saying like what are we going to do all the panic and chaos and all that other stuff and while that's happening too like they're also being hunted while they're in there by something some things that are uh creepy and are are ready to risk it all and yeah so with that being said when it comes down to the two leads of this film zara pythian and Rosso hennessy the two of them just work really well together first of all i think potentially they might be friends in real life they have to be because their chemistry on set is just so organic uh it just it it it, it, it really shows beyond the characters here and i think a really good word to use here is that they're just so bright and they just radiate in their charismatic like nature because they just the 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 the, the dialogue and just everything the scenes of them together complement each other so well and it just seems so natural it's just like you know it really shows it to me it really shows who they truly are are people and i think they got to be friends but i love the two of them as leads and the scenes that they share together but nonetheless nonetheless so Zara, uh, so Caitlin Ross, who's played by uh, Zara, again, the lead here. I love the idea of strong female leads. Again, something that Evolutionary Films is doing again uh, with having a strong female lead. And it's something that I would love to continue to see on and on and on. But not just with her being the lead. There are strong female characters up and down the board in this film. Uh, to the point that they're so strong that they're not sitting around in this, you know, and again, because this is a survival, uh, this is more of a, a survival plot here and, and, and their the characters are in survival instinct. They're not waiting around for the white knight. These women are kicking butt up and down the board. Um, and they're not the damsel in distress, distress and waiting for their Prince Charming to come. These women are out here kicking butt up and down uh, with some amazing hand-to-hand combat. And just fight sequences and all that. It's just badass up and down the board. And I really, I, I, I love that. You know, and I think majority of the film is carried by that. Which I think is also a very entertaining uh, factor here as well. But, uh, you know, as, as, as well as this, again, is a horror film, thriller, and action film. I think, you know, with the women having these really strong, prominent roles, it also this is just a beacon of hope because this is like, you know, if more companies and, and, and more studios decide to invest in women into be- becoming strong female leads or characters that could be females and are strong, then we just get more versatile movies. And I, and I just love that. So, like, as well as whatever's happening in the movies, there's also that beacon of hope. Like, man, this is telling a good story here because you're seeing... The women, you know, laying down, you know, and 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 being the big factor as to how they're going to survive. And considering that she's ex-military and suffering through PTSD, which is something that is truly something that's happening in society, and I sympathize with as our troops come back from service. You know, knowing that that character has that dynamic, but also you see them really being the lead front into survival for the team i it's it's just a really good story here um nonetheless the the, the cast is so diverse um and it just it, overall it just does a really good job at bringing it all together now this film does have a lot of creepy horror little things and a lot of good action the plot is very simple because it's just all about survival so you don't expect too much of anything outside the box on that note you just see a lot of butt kicking um some some i'll say entertaining dialogue uh but overall this is just an enjoyable film because the film doesn't try to do anything that it doesn't know it 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 can do it stays right within its groove and margin of what it wants to achieve and it does a good job with that but anyway yes it's available right now tribal get out alive is a movie about survival with strong female leads that are just kicking butt up and down and you know and as much as i put a lot of emphasis on the, on the women here uh ross or does an amazing job as well as a lead um 
and uh, really, you know, brings a <laughs> comedic factor at times, but nonetheless kicks butt. Uh, there's a lot of butt kicking going on here. There's a lot of gore going on here, too. There is some deaths and some killings going on. So you be surprised. Don't be surprised if somebody that you're instantly investing in doesn't stay on the screen long. Because, uh, yes, there's some fatalities happening left and right. But check it out. Let me know in the comments when you think after you see it. And stay tuned for the next review very soon.